painted arches. Good morning, everyone. Wait, no. It's 4.15 in the afternoon. And you know what that means? It's the beginning of part two of our food festival. We're headed off to Epcot. It's the beginning of a whole new same day. Let's make some magic. Here we are, headed off on the Skyliner. It's a little bit windy today, guys, so uh, wish me luck. Yandu and the dog. That's so awesome. I think we might get the froggy. We might get both. Okay, I just realized this is her Epcot mask. She wore this the last time we were in Epcot. Oh, was it? Yep. Oh. This is New Year's Eve, it's the same mask. I didn't work. do it on purpose. Yes, she did. No, I didn't. Yes, she did. Now, <laughs> whee! I wish it didn't talk, though. Yeah, that It'd be is so annoying. relaxing without this annoying woman. That was your cue to start talking, lady. <laughs> I think she's going to wait until we get just to the end of the water. Uh, I think it actually is timed somehow, but I don't know. But here we go. Beautiful view. Hey, Michelle, don't listen to us talking. Go and put some pretty music in instead and do this at high speed. Moana. Hey, 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 Ellen Putter. Okay, so in the recording sessions, they had clips of stuff from Alan Putter, and one of the things he says at one point is in between takes goes, I went to Yale for this. <laughs> it just made me laugh. All right, so this is my only time in Epcot, so this is like day two of a four day trip because we're going to four different parks. We're starting our first Disney day for me. She's already been doing this. Hey look, that's what the globe is going to look like in a few months. We'll probably make it into the park right about five. That's what I'm thinking. In the time that we got off Universal Property or left Universal Property, changed the room, cleaned up, chilled out a little bit. It's been about two, two more hours. So yeah, we're going to get by the time we get into Epcot, including all the Skyliner time. So, not awful. It's a lot later than I was originally intending. So we'll have about three hours to eat and then let our body digest so we're ready for that amazing dinner we're looking at having. So we'll pick our top foods, try them out, and tell you how they are. Hey Michelle, it's time for another montage. garden as you may have seen that beautiful butterfly I sent you a moment ago um, we're here to eat drink be merry see the good stuff try the other stuff hope we have enough room for dinner <laughs> it's five o'clock now dinner's not till 9 50 yes you heard us about 10 o'clock at night is when we have dinner which is good we need that time to try food and digest it before we have to leave here so this is our tea garden stunning amaryllis 
Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Oh, and Alice is in the garden. And if you were following the bee, Mr. Bee game, there's the bee. But here we've got Pooh and, and, and Rabbit and Tigger, but they all have different faces and noses. We think they're from different topiary series. I love the carrots. It's topiaries. <laughs> topiaries. Oh, we like his honey pot. Who's got a balloon? So gorgeous. Oh, Gerbera daisies and impatiens. And I forget what the red ones are called. I used to. And lavender. Piglet. And Eeyore. And Tigger. T I double G R. In England, it's a lovely Shakespeare garden. Isn't that pretty? Oh, they call it there. Here, they've got a describer for it. Let's go read it. William Shakespeare often used flowers in exotic gardens to help set the scenes for his plays. Just as often, the bard used these beautiful plants as symbols and metaphors. Now take a look around and discover plants that by any other name would smell as sweet. Fresh marigold. Lavender. Yet marked I where the bolt of Cupid fell, it fell upon a little western flower, before milk white now purple with love's wound, and maidens call it love and idleness. Midsummer Night's Dream did that show. And this is, I mean, I, I, there's rosemary, that's for remembrance. Pray, love, remember. And there's pansies, that's for thoughts. This is the wonderful Ophelia going completely insane before she drowns herself. She starts handing out little sticks of dead weeds telling people there are these beautiful flowers. Don't mind me as I vlog. <laughs> oh no, I love it. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> that what's in a name? That we could call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. That is because her boyfriend has the last name of the people her parents hate. Welcome to Shakespeare. This is fun. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so I know a bank where the wild thyme blows, where ox lips and the nodding violet grows, quite over canopied with luscious woodbine, with sweet musk roses and with eglantine. There sleeps Titania, some time of the night, lulled in these flowers with dances and delight. Years ago, Shakespeare in the Park did a version of this with William Hurt playing Oberon. And while I think William Hurt is an amazing actor, he was the worst Oberon I have ever seen in my life. What I just read to you, I am now going to read to you in the style of William Hurt in that production. I know a bank where the wild thyme blows, where oak slips and the nodding vi- I swear to God he sounded like that. It was horrible. Never do that again, William Hurt. Wagging fingers. Just saying. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is the monstrosity. There are two more Archie thingies on the other side, and that thing. So, uh, you like the view of China now? Because that's the view of China from England. Blah. I hope to God that this show is absolutely amazing, because destroying all of these views is killing me. This used to be one of my favorite things. I'm really disturbed by this. So, I hope, Imagineers, that you have something so beautiful, so lovely, so stunning that we will never remember what the view was like before, but right now I am not happy. Just say it. End of rant. Eggs. Eggs. Are we supposed to be finding eggs? Are we having eggs? I don't know if there's an egg hunt. Pretty. Yeah, I was there for. My things are so scary. So we have gotten the cider flight. She's picked up the duck comfy and I'm going to get the, ras uh, the watermelon salad. So we're going to try all of those and see what they're like. That's everything we wanted to get inside this building. There are no special fun things here this time, which is kind of sad. Um, they usually will have the shop in here and some other stuff, but there's nothing extra special. So we'll just get the drinks and we'll go from there. Before we leave here, we're, we're finishing up the last cider, which we really like. Um, a year ago, and maybe 
we're at the 19th. A year ago in four days, the park's closed. A year ago in five days, I was here at Epcot at the Flower and Garden Festival. It had just been opened a week. And I came for the first Flower and Garden ever, really enjoyed it, got my magnet um, for, for as a pass holder, had a great experience. And later that day, we found out the parks were gonna be closing. Actually, we found it right before we came out there, we found out the parks were gonna be closing. And uh, it has been a year, and it has been quite a year. But Flower and Garden has happened again. People are here. Vaccinations are happening. People are starting to move forward. And um, a toast. In another year from now, let's all be back to as much normal as we can. Safety, health, healing. Let's get back to the magic. Let's get back to the joy. Salute. Oh, looks like a jelly. It does. It's like it's jellyfish jelly. chandelier. That's beautiful. Yeah, this is what a Disney truck would look like if they never actually did anything to the plants. Because that's way too clean. Way clean. But Hilarious. here you go. It's beautiful though. Sustainability. 80% of world is irrigated using reclaimed water. Very cool. Hey, read quickly, guys. Read really, 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 really fast. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm going to keep complaining about this. The view is gone. Arr. I like your shoes. That's awesome. That's my favorite part of this dystopia area is your shoes. Look at that. Nice colors. And Gerbera daisies. All the cool plants. Chrysanthemums. Faith, I'm talking to you. Just saying. One of the lovely parts of Flower and Garden are all of these beautiful flowers and the floating baskets, as well as all the topiaries. It's really stunningly beautiful. I'm not, it's funny, I'm like, I'm not as drawn to yellows and oranges, and especially not oranges, but I love the blues and purples and all of those stunning colors. That looks like mint. I think that's mint. The flowers across the way are known as stock. This is the exciting thing that happens when you used to work for a florist. I don't know all the names, but I know a lot of them. Thank you. Here we go. Mango. It's a mango tree. So all of these, flo these flowers are things that the bees like, and they also have bees in chrysalis here, which I think are just across the way, over there. And if you're very lucky, and sometimes very still, they will land on you. But you have to find them. And I bet you they're all over the place. Oh, there's some more in chrysalis we're about to get to. Pink hydrangea. So pretty. They're shaking. That's interesting. I wonder why they're moving so much. I think they're flying. Oh. So those are babies to be about. To oh, there's some that are partially hatched, too. If you can see it. Some of those are hatched. Yeah. It's pretty cool today. Like, cool temperature cool. I don't know. They wouldn't... So I don't know how active they're going to be. Right. Oh, this is another pretty one. The flower? Yes. Nice. I think that's the that's one sort.
Well, no, but they want to get out. That too, but... <gasps> oh, wow. So you, you see other smart people like you taking pictures of the really cool looking ones. Yeah. And then you follow them that. If you look at it, when he put his wings down, it looks like a snake with his mouth open. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? The eyes are on each hand uh -huh. and the mouth is open. On That's right awesome. Here. Yeah, yeah. That's that very cool. Awesome. Like, wow. And then he put it together for us when you came. Did you notice that? Because uh -huh. he was showing up. I had the camera. Yeah, I have video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so That's beautiful. So as he mentioned, there are two butterflies making more butterflies. Not a family-friendly vlog. Children, avert your eyes. So we were looking at the Toy Story stuff here and then discovered how many of you remember these from Hollywood Studios? I think they just repurposed them to hang in the trees. That's like hilarious. And three-headed sheep. I think I want the first one. I was coming up to the butterflies when I found these. And if you know what they are, you know the last remnants of the center. So sad. So sad. All right, we're gonna make a butterfly out of her and then a butterfly out of me. Pictures will go right here. No, they're on both sides. Okay, well, but you can get flags on this side. Oh, yes. ha. <laughs> Another hurt. Hey, hey, hey. And another one. Hey, hey is everywhere over here, guys. Okay, so you're still leaving? So all of the symbols you see on these walls are going to be up, I believe, on those flags. Actually, those are the old ones I saw. No, they're the new ones. What we're doing right now is we're going to the very front to see the beautiful new flags. Let's take a couple moments to listen to some of the new music. There will be very little of it put in here because copyright, um, but I thought it would be really nice for you to hear a little bit of the music. So the thing I don't like about this part of Epcot is the wind tunnel. I feel like I'm a mime walking against the wind, only I'm really walking against the wind. Let's see if we can see the new lighting. I think it's too bright for the new lights, sadly. I'm gonna sit down for a moment and look around. something magical about this space. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, please remember to like it and hit that thumbs up. Or if you want to see more of the content, subscribe to the channel lets you know when uh, more things are coming out so you can keep in touch with everything that we've been doing. Share. If you know somebody else will benefit from these, I'd appreciate that too. And tell me, what are you most looking forward to with your next trip to Epcot? Is it the food? Is it the ride? Is it this new majestic music? Because it's inspiring me. Thank you everyone. There'll be more coming. We just noticed this here by Test Track. Very pretty. Drapey, droopy flowers. Did you hear the bird? That's just a really cool bird. Just flew over our heads and landed up there and was talking. 
It's gorgeous. Hi guys. So we are, I'm at Travel and Trellis, which is the uh, vegetarian slash vegan place. I'm picking up the street corn and I'm gonna pick up a cranberry lime drink with lime vodka. And then she's over in the Mexican and we're gonna get the taco vampiro, I believe the beef tostada-y thing. And then she's picking up a margarita, passion fruit margarita. We're gonna meet and carry everything to tables and see what it's like. We're having a discussion about why America's pavilion is even in the World Showcase. So your theory, what, well, when you're done swallowing, it's important to swallow, not a family-friendly vlog. That too. <laughs> so my thought was, this is the World Showcase. So we're showcasing other countries and cultures. Yeah. So why would America be here? Because we're in America. Well, why would we need to see American culture? Because we are in America and we should know our culture. Well, I know there's visitors from I was around say, the world. Because this, this, this is an international destination and they come just to Florida and they don't leave it. So that's a way to give them the American history. And that's the one thing is well, it's not just America, it's American history. It's, it's, I mean, that's, that's, you know, the independence of, uh, Independence Hall and of, of Philadelphia and all that, that kind of look. Well, and again, just personal opinion, of the different countries, I think the America Pavilion is the weakest Except in the show. what it offers. Well, it has a show right now. It's got the jazz music. I love music. Voices of America. I right. do. I go no, see No, no, no. I wasn't talking about that. Oh, the American the Adventure. Show. Yeah, okay. the, with the animatronics and all that. I like it. Again, I, I've slept I'm through like, it too, but I, I know, like, never go in. Now, have you never ever, go in? Have you ever seen um, the Abe Lincoln um, in Disneyland? The Abe Lincoln Show, the original. No, probably not. Okay. So if you Again, ever, I live here. No, no, Disneyland. I know, no, no. I mean, in the United States, I just feel like. I want to learn about but other it, cultures and see the first cultures. animatronic Disney ever, well, not after the birds. It was the first, like, human-like animatronic. It was the one that was at the World's Fair, um, and it's the original show. And it's just Abe Lincoln. It's like Mr. Lincoln or something like that. It's a really cool show. And the coolest part of it when I went, and for those of you who have been to Disneyland, you may have seen this, is in the lobby, they show you a model of the Capitol, and they also show you little models. I mean, they're about maybe, you know, little that models. tall. You know, a, a two feet, three feet of different um, Americana kind of characters. However, those I think were the originals. Inside the American Adventure show, if you look on the walls, they're full size or larger than full size replicas or full, you know, bigger than of those exact same statues. Hmm. So I don't know which came first. But I remember when I went to, to Disneyland with my friends and they were lo locals for Disneyland, I went, oh my God, these are all from the American Adventure. And they went, the what? I'm sorry. So I had to explain to them the coolness of what this was. It was excellent. It is starting to become freezing. It is officially 59 degrees. Is that what that says? Because I can't read without my glasses. Yes, 59. Okay, 59 degrees and it's windy against the wind with the water. I may be buying a second sweatshirt. <laughs> We bought one at Universal because it was on an incredible sale. I'm oh, there might be some annual pass holder stuff in here. Let me go see what the annual pass holder stuff is for Flower and Garden. See if there's something interesting. If that's okay with you before we hit Germany, I think we got some time because it's 7:30. Yeah, we, I mean dinner is until another oh two and a half hours from now. So glad because we still have Germany pancakes. And are we getting both of them, or are we going to get the applesauce or the ham and sweet, or the ham and cheese? We'll have to discuss this. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a, a discuss and debate. Yes, we'll get back to you. Tra traditionally, I will throw this out here: is that you know, growing up Jewish, applesauce with with and sometimes sour cream, but I can't do that anymore. But applesauce with potato pancakes, that was the way to go. And, and I'm a sour cream with potato pancakes. Well, I you. Right, but they don't have that as an option. I know. They have a ham. So sad. Yeah, they have an applesauce or a ham and cheese. So savory or sweet with the potato pancake. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna to respond to the ham and cheese. But they're both gluten free, so we might even try both. Oh my god, it's windy. Oh. It's got a sweater and a shirt and a t-shirt and long pants, and I put the socks on with my sandals because I'm one of those people now. Um, and it's not warm enough right now. And I have my winter coat back at the room. And it's Disney, and it's back at the room. And tomorrow is warmer, so I won't need it. <laughs> oh yeah, let's empty everything out. Should we get a coke? No, I don't want to be that bad. 
I'm a schmoo head. That's what it is. I'm a schmoo head. <laughs> so part of Flower and Garden is to have live music in the evenings, a 7.30 and 8.30 show from local groups. And this is a Motown group this weekend. We're bouncing and bopping as we walk around. at night. Bellissima. Italia bellissima. Venice. Venezia bellissima. So pretty, so romantic. Okay, every photographer wanted to make Drew and I look like we were a couple. If I can find the picture, I'll put one of them in right here. But now we're off to Germany to get our last foods of the festival. So what they do in the Germany pavilion here on the train tracks is they redecorate everything for all the holidays. So here's the flower and garden. If you look at last year, uh, last uh, the Christmas videos, I'll try to put a link in here. You will see the version with all the Christmas decorations from Epcot. It's kind of fabulous. Train is coming. Hello, train. And that passenger one is all lit. Yes. Oh, there's someone underneath. I saw the light, but I didn't see the guy. Okay. Oh, right there, yeah. He was checking it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the food has defeated us. We are not going to be going to the, the uh, Germany Pavilion. We decided, A, it's really getting cold. Like, we just watched one of the festivals. Like, yeah, what is it in there? But how far did it blow away? Okay, so like I said, it was really windy. Uh, her hat just blew pretty much over to Snow White. I don't know if you can see her over there, but yeah, all the way over to Snow White. I had to like reach really far in to get it. We're not going to do potato pancakes. I didn't even want to do caramel because I'm full. I'm not uncomfortably full. I don't think we're going to eat big entrees tonight. You know those square kiosks that have all the flower and garden signs on it? One of them started blowing away from a booth flying over to the booth we were at. Like three or four people had to run and grab it because it was about to go away. <laughs> hey look, she has <laughs> eyes. I was enjoying it. I look like some weird muppet in the back. <laughs> true. True. Why? Why did you spurn me? All right, so we're going to slowly make our way out. It's pretty at night. <coughs> but yeah, let's go this way. She's muppeting behind us. Is that a verb, a noun, a verb? Have you muppeted? Do you know what I mean when I say muppeting? <laughs> yeah, she's muppeting. It's been a long day and we've had very, very little sleep. <laughs> so this is the park at about 8.15 at night. You can see it's very much emptied out. You now we came here at about four o'clock. We did not attempt to go on any rides or any shows. We looked at test track, but that was 15 minutes at one point. So we pretty much are just here to do the food. I'm hoping we'll be able to enjoy dinner. There were one or two things I would like to have tried, like the potato pancakes. And there may be even one other thing I wanted to try, but it's all good. It is windy as hell and I've got to go ride that skyline. Did I mention I'm afraid of heights? Yeah, this will be interesting. Good music. And copyright, so we can't keep much of it. She's not muppeting right now. Just letting you know. Don't say it loudly, though. She might realize. So this is the line for the Skyliner. It stops at the moment. I'm guessing that we'll be on within 10 minutes. As long as those things don't stay totally stopped. Then we're good to go. So let's see if I'm right. It, I see. No, I don't see England, but I do see France. <laughs> Let's look at Gusto's. Yay! Opening October 1st. Gusto and Ratatouille. Hi guys. So we are leaving Epcot. It's a crazy, wonderful food day. If you've checked out the food video, go and tell us what you think about it. But now we have dinner. So next video, Topolino's Terrace. We're gonna take the Skyliner over, 
we're gonna enjoy this. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, you know, I mean, if did, what, what, what was your, the thing you liked most about this? And, and what, what things would you like to do the next time you're back here, if you were here for Flower and Garden? Because it goes through, I think July this year. They've, they've extended it. Um, we're gonna hop on the Skyliner. Hope the wind isn't too bad. <laughs> and uh, talk to you next time. Um, I don't have a tagline. Okay, so it is 11.35 Pop Century. This closes at midnight. That one's already done. You can see nothing's moving. Epcot is still running as people are going home, but it's not busy. So I'm happy about that. We're gonna walk right on and go on home and get home before midnight. Woohoo! Hi guys, we survived. Barely, but we survived. It is just after midnight. We started at 5.30 in the morning. I had an hour and a half sleep going into this. She had maybe three. We're tired. <laughs> oh God, we still have the prowlings. Jesus. So, we started the morning going to Universal. Stayed there till about 2.33. Then we went to here, dropped stuff off, then went to Epcot. Stayed there till about 9.30, no, nine o'clock, because it was so cold and windy as hell. Uh, we did not finish all of the foods we wanted, but we got through most of them. And then we went to Topolino's Terrace and had an amazing dinner that will come in a separate video. Uh, we are now back to our room. We went and tried to settle some stuff up at the desk. I was an idiot and forgot to move my rewards points over so I couldn't use that to pay off part of my bill. Damn it. Um, not a family friendly vlog. So I have to now go and figure out how to fix that. It's all right, I'll transfer it and I'll use it for the next trip. Uh, we have canceled our original lunch plans for tomorrow. We've made new lunch plans so that we don't have to quite rush around as much. We were originally gonna go to Magic Kingdom at, at Park Hopper time. We may not do that at all, we don't know, we'll see. You did not see my Tragical Express notification, did you? No. I have to call the front desk and find out when my Tragical Express is. Um, and Because I leave tomorrow, so I've got to pack tonight and do some more organization stuff. And yeah, we're gonna take it a little easier. We're gonna look at, we may be doing this again come the end of June, beginning of July, so we're gonna look at a bounce back. And then we're gonna go from there, woo. We will talk to you guys soon. We had a great night. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that all of this craziness was worth it. <laughs> Go ahead to hit the subscribe channel because we've got a whole other day of this and we will be back uh, to do more crazy fun and would love to share it with you. I, I, actually, out of, out of the videos that you have watched of mine so far, what what trip or restaurant or experience was, was your favorite? What one do you go, you know, that was really funny when you did X. I'm, I'm very curious. I, I would love to hear it. Um, I don't have a tagline. No. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?